Welcome to the Center for Reproductive Medicine and Robotic Surgery Laboratories. Here you will see the high-tech procedure of oocytes or eggs and blastocysts or embryos cryopreservation using the technique called vitrification. This new technology enables the embryologist to successfully freeze and thaw eggs, embryos and also ovarian tissue with 80% survival rate. Prior to starting the procedure, the cryotips should be inspected under the microscope to, to rule out any defects. Next, four 20 microliter media drops are made in a sterile dish. One drop with modified human tubal fluid or HDF and the remaining th three drops with equilibration solution. Next, the retrieved eggs are washed for one minute in the modified HDF solution. Then using the pipette, the drop is merged with the first drop of the equilibration solution and kept for two minutes. During this time, the mature eggs can be seen, seen shrinking followed by their expansion confirming equilibration. After three minutes, the drop is merged with the second drop of equilibration solution and kept for further two minutes. After two minutes, the eggs are picked up using the pipette and transferred to the third drop of the equilibration solution and kept in that drop for three minutes. During this time, four 20 microliter drops of vitrification solution is allocated in the bottom part of the dish. Next, the eggs are prepared out from the third drop of equilibration solution and rinsed in the four vitrification solution drops, five seconds in the first drop, five seconds in the second drop, 10 seconds in the third drop, and then transferred into the fourth drop. The eggs should then be loaded onto the cryo tip, sealed on both ends, and plunged into liquid nitrogen within 90 seconds. If blastocysts are to be vitrified, they are kept in the equilibration solution for up to nine minutes. At around two minutes, you could see the embryo shrinking and equilibrating, and by nine minutes, they have expanded to the original size, confirming equilibration. During this time, similar to as detailed above for oocytes vitrification, four drops of vitrification solution is made in the bottom of the dish and the embryos are washed in them for five seconds and then again for five seconds in the second drop and 10 seconds in the third drop and then placed in the fourth drop as shown in this video. Next, using the cryo tip, the vitrification solution is drawn up to mark one on the cryo tip. This is followed by loading of the embryos or the oocytes into the cryo tip. Next, the cryo tip is filled to mark three with the vitrification solution from drop four. Next, the thin end of the cryo tip is heat seal sealed, followed by checking the seal under the microscope to confirm that the seal is good and is not broken. Then the stillet is pulled back and the thick side of the cryo tip is heat sealed in a similar fashion. Once the seals of the cryotip are checked and they're found to be good, the cryotip is loaded onto a straw. Then they are appropriately labeled, heat sealed again, and then plunged into liquid nitrogen. At our lab, we get 85 to 95% survival of embryos after vitrification procedure. 
This new technology of vitrification results in better embryo and oocyte survival rate compared to the old technology of slow cool cryopreservation.